<laughs> well, the most convoluted yarn this side of the Death Stranding trailer has at last been unleashed. I refer, of course, to the IG report. Now, there's no shortage of ESPN highlights on the subject, so by all means, seek them out. But the Razor Fist Cliff Notes? Number one, an investigation into Anthony Weiner's laptop was apparently deliberately buried, despite several prosecutors knowing as early as September 2016, literally the beating heart of the bullshit Comey investigation, that hundreds of thousands of Hillary emails likely resided thereon. Number two, the report goes on to name FBI officials Peter Strzok and Lisa Page as likely culprits in both burying Wienergate and simultaneously prioritizing the ridiculous Russia narrative, a fact borne out by Peter Strzok's leaked text message where he all but vows to devour his own dick if it stops Trump from winning the election. There is one specific text that is getting a lot of attention uh, in that text messages page texted Strzok saying something to the effect of Trump won't win. Strzok responds saying no, no he won't. We'll stop it. And that is of course uh, something that a lot of people would read and think well was he doing something with the investigation? Number three. The FBI, despite Comey's many claims of the contrary, never actually designated Hillary Clinton the formal subject of the email investigation, which makes his October 2016 assertion that she'd been, quote, cleared all the more curious. Ironically, absurdly, bad fucking shittedly, the takeaway for the media at large appears to be Comey didn't do nothing. And this report finds then FBI Director James Comey did not act with bias. <laughs> When if you actually read said report, you realize it absolves Comey of political bias exclusively, not of misconduct and indiscretion, even going so far as to say he, quote, broke dramatically with FBI codes of conduct. In short, Comey's corrupt as shit, just not because he's a Democrat. But then there's the little publicized mitigating factors at play here. The circumstances around said IG report, the forces that did their damnedest to stop this school bus fire from forming to fucking begin with, and of course the fact that the man who assembled this ass pile is none other than Michael Horowitz, an Obama appointee and an official contributor to the unbridled bullshit that was the Arpaio investigation. Wrap your retardation dispensary around that factoid and fire up the fucking think box. This report, as damning as it is, is penned by a goof so far up Hillary's ass even he can taste Huma Abedin's pussy. Asking an Obama appointee to root out corruption is like asking a mosquito to cure malaria. But the report also establishes an uncomfortable congress between the FBI and the mendacious hacks in media. Tickets to sports games, celebrity glad-handing in exchange for interviews, favorable coverage for backroom BJs. Is this the IG report or the IGN report? Oh, and Joe Walsh, before you fire off your fuckwit launcher about how Hillary was screwed and Russia interfered, you faux objective never Trump titwank, maybe consider the same fucking official presided over a Joe Arpaio witch hunt that not only failed to prove the original allegations, but ultimately settled on a misdemeanor contempt of court charge with no jury present, might I add, in the utter absence of evidence. Conflict of interest? No, sweetie. Joe Walsh advertising just for men hair gel is a conflict of interest. This is a five-alarm federal ass-fucking. And jackass, if, as you suggest, Comey intervened on behalf not of Hillary, but of Trump, Try explaining the fuck to any of us why Comey never formally designated the investigation to be about Hillary Clinton, instead relegating it to a, quote, unknown subject, but later lied in order to say he'd, quote, cleared her, or why the Counterintelligence Division report in 2015 went 105 fucking miles not to utter the name Hillary Clinton a solitary fucking time. A direct contradiction of Comey's book, by the way, bitch, despite former FBI Counterintelligence Assistant Director Randall Coleman stating they were now investigating her emails to near exclusivity. Still say she got screwed there, Sophocles? One fact is eerie fucking feudable. McCabe and Comey are cucked and fucked 
for a fact. And I get that you herpy derpy dipshits on Reddit have a full body spurg seizure at the merest utterance of the term deep state, but if that phrase can't be rightly applied to a federal official pledging to personally intervene to alter the outcome of a contentious election, particularly when said official is beholden to the outgoing administration, as the IG report resoundingly fucking proves, folks! What the fuck can it be affixed to? If we can't come to the middle to acknowledge that's an egregious violation of both an official's constitutional mandate and the primary function of the federal fucking government, fuck, we may as well go full south and north right here and now and must get the living shit out of each other. Because at that point, there ain't a goddamn thing we'll agree on going forward. I mean... Thanks to Horowitz holding Hillary's water, this report was softened more than a Meryl Streep camera filter, yet you can still smell the deep state corruption coming off this document in fucking waves. Michael Horowitz is further proof that fairy tales don't begin with once upon a time, they begin with I do solemnly swear, folks. And speaking of lying your asshole clean off your body, this report also establishes indefatigably that the allegation I made in my How Obama Obliterated Hillary rant was right Righteously fucking factual. Namely, that evidence was uncovered linking Obama's email alias to illegal Hillary email servers, meaning when B.O. dropped this bullshit. Mr. President, when did you first learn that Hillary Clinton used an email system outside the U.S. government for uh, official business while she was Secretary of State? Uh, at the same time, uh, everybody else learned it through news reports. It was precisely that. Bullshit! The next time you elect a product of inexorably corrupt Chicago political machines, try reading the ingredients on the tin first, you fucks! The more you see of a modern politician, the more you think Guy Fawkes was merely ahead of his time. I'm Razor Fist! God fucking speed! I can assure you that uh, I certainly did not know anything about the IG report before the IG uh, report had been leaked through press, uh, through the press. Uh, I first learned about it from the same news reports that I think most people uh, learned about this. We were not aware of any uh, actionable intelligence indicating that an attack on the U.S. mission in Benghazi was planned or imminent. Uh, that report is false. It was a mistake, as was, uh, as was stated. Uh, it was something uh, we found out about uh, along with all of you, and uh, it will not happen again.